Well, look who it is. Hey, guys. It's all you guys here for another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. So I've picked some funky colours this time. Yes. Um, some really, really <laughs> funky colours, actually. And I want to experiment a little bit with them. Yeah. In fact, I want to see you experiment with them. Nice. So, um, Jeremy, I'm going to ask you to do two techniques on your canvas. Okay. A grenade and a flip cop. Okay. I kind of want to see if there is a huge difference between those compositions, both on the canvas and when you tilt it out. Yeah. So I mix these colors in mind of you doing a couple of pours. Huh. Are you down for that? Yeah, You're absolutely. Down, I'm down for the challenge. You're down to clown? I'm down to clown. All right. And I'm going to do a straight pour with them. Okay. And I will probably wreck it. Um, so that's what's kind of going through my head. All right. Yeah. I think these are going to be really fun colors in these compositions. Hey. I'm ready for it. In for a penny, in for a pound, we say in England. Um, all right, guys. So if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, share, comment, do whatever you can um, to help. That would be much appreciated. And without much further ado, let's get to it. Let's get to it. We will see you at the table. Hey, guys. It is Jeremy here, and I am excited about this pour today. Mm -hmm. Lee has picked some really interesting colors, which I'm really glad uh, that I'm doing the type of pour that I'm doing with this. And when you say interesting, you mean questionable, because I know you're a little unsure about these, as am I, to be honest. Actually, I'm really not. No? Okay. No. Okay. There's a couple of really bright colors in there, yep. but I think they're going to work well together. Well, I guess harmoniously. We're, I guess we're going to see. <laughs> <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound right exactly, now. Exactly, exactly. So let me introduce those colors. Please. Um, we have Yellowish Green by Amsterdam. Which I know a lot of people are particularly afraid of. Right, well, yeah. Um, this is Quinacridone Magenta by Liquitex Basics. Yeah, exactly. I like that color a lot, actually. Um, Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics. Okay, so three crazy beautiful, colors. Mm -hmm. Beautiful colors. Uh, Pearl Sea Green by Arteza. And to that, as there wasn't a lot left, I actually did mix some pearl pistachio and some pearl pastel green. Oh, okay. So it is a little lighter. Yeah, this just, color is, yeah. It's just a little really lighter. It's really pretty. I don't know if you guys can catch that. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's a beautiful color. A custom green. Custom green. Um, we have Deco Arts uh, Dazzling Metallics. Dazzling. Uh, this is the white pearl. Lovely. We have this metallic cobalt blue by Artist Loft. Love that color. Yeah, I do too. And then of course, Deco Arts Metallics 24 karat gold. Stunning. Yes, we love that one. Um, so what are you doing, sir? Well, I have an 18 by 24 inch canvas here. Nice. And I thought that I would do something a little different today. What is that? I'm going to do a grenade pour. Well, that's not different. And, <laughs> no, no, it's not. But I have my pen and my cup for my grenade pour. I have another cup which I'm going to do a grenade pour on one side and I'm going to do a flip cup on the other oh. to see the difference. Holy moly, what a great immediate comparison you're going to have yes. of the difference in the two compositions. But I'm guessing you're going to try and kind of, you know, make them incorporated by a lip. I am. I'm going to lip them. Got yes. It. I'm okay. going to lip them together so that way it kind of brings, it will join them as friends. Harmoniously. Harmoniously. Okay, I like that. People um, coming together. Are you going to dirty layer? I am going to dirty layer this. And will you do that right on camera right there? I am going to. That just means I don't have to have another camera angle. So it yes. allows it to be a little easier <laughs> yes. for me in the edit. So I yes. appreciate that. Absolutely. Um, everything has been mixed to the everything else pouring medium. Okay. Um, so it is 50% flow troll, 25%. Liquid toss glass medium yeah. and 25% paint. Exactly that. Yes. Go for it. Okay. And why don't you just layer the two cups at the same time? I'm going to. Yeah, that's perfect. Pink right here. All right. I'm going to put some pearl white as my base. Lovely jubbly. Yes. I think it's about the same amount. Okay. Um, what am I going to... I'm going to be... A little scandalous and go right in with this green. Lisa Curry, this one's for you. Scandalous. Um, this is going to be probably one of the last one or two pours where you have both hands for probably the next six weeks to four months. Yes. <laughs> yes. My arm will be in a sling mm -hmm. for the next probably six weeks. Six weeks. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of crazy, right? Yep. Um, 
I'm looking forward to it. Dark zine. Oh, I'm you sure you're looking happen? forward to it. I mean, clearly I want you well, I want you better, and I'll do everything to look after you during that time. But I know six weeks of you in a sling is going to be tough. Yes, it is going to be tough. Not having a... Uh, wow, well, look at that, it's Mardi Gras. It's Fat Tuesday in a cup. It is Fat LSU, Tuesday these are your school, high school football colours. No, oh. well, purple and gold, yes. Yeah. Yes, purple and gold, yes. I think I'm going to go with the magenta I next. I said it before you did, because I knew it was coming. Plop. I love this magenta. It just can be so bossy sometimes. God forbid you got a tiny bit of paint on your glove then. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> what is the world coming to? Right. I must applaud you on your healthy layering, sir. Normally you do little, little layers and lots of them, but you've actually just managed to get one of each of the colors in there because you've done really delicious layers. Thank you. The lot of that pastel. It Don't really it. wasn't. It really wasn't. I'm really interested to see how these are going to work together. So before you do flip these onto your canvas, because I know you're going to add a flow extender. Yes. What do you think will be the difference in the composition between a flip cup and a grenade? Do you think you'll see a great deal of difference? I think there'll be a little bit more integration with the, uh, the, uh, paint grenade. Paint grenade. Right. Thank you. My mind's not working this morning, this, this afternoon, um, this morning, this Today. afternoon, this Yesterday. evening. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think there's going to be a little bit more going on with the paint grenade Got as it. there will with the flip cup. I think the flip cup's going to be a little bit more like together, if okay. that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. And I this one's I... going to have a little bit more composition to it. Okay. I think so. All right. Yeah. Interesting. Let's, yeah. let's get a flow extender down on yeah. there and then we will see. Now this flow extender is as always a mix of our leftover paints, but I got to yeah. say this is the least attractive that our flow <laughs> extender has been for a while. Yes. What color did you say this was, Jeremy? Uh, it's like a mauve or yeah. like a grape. I, I think it's like purple mud <laughs> is kind of how I, <laughs> how I see this one. Purpley mud. It is a bit. It was very gray at one point and then we managed to find some purple from somewhere and then it's, actually it's not that bad on the canvas. It's, it's great. Yeah, it is. It's like grape ape. It is very great. All right, guys, so I got my base coat down and it is time to start flipping. I'm gonna do my flip cup right here. Yeehaw! Now I'm gonna do my uh, grenade pour right here. Woohoo! I'm loving these colors together, honestly. All right, so you have to let this paint sit for a minute because it has to fall from the bottom of the cup to the top of the cup or from the top down to the canvas. Okay. So I'm letting this sit for just a second. Yeah, it's less important with the paint grenade because the air rushing in through the hole will push the paint out. Exactly. You don't have that in the actual flip cup. No. So you really do want all those paints to trickle down to the, yeah. what is the now, the top, which was the, or the bottom, which is the top of the cup. Exactly. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the paint. Okay. The paint grenade. <sighs> and here it comes. Boy, it's coming out. I'm gonna go this way with it a little bit. All right. All right, guys, you know what time it is. What time is it? Stilton time. Let's tilt this bad boy out. Hey, I don't know where you're enough to. It must have been tough to. Just wanted to say I love you Yes, I didn't 
Wow guys, I have to say I'm in love with this piece. I love these colors together in this. You're welcome. Yes, <laughs> and um, I did see whenever I first pulled the cups off before I lipped it, there was a little bit of difference between the paint grenade and the, uh, the just the regular flip cup. Regular flip cups seem to be a little bit more calm, mm -hmm. you know, and then the the, Grenade pour had a little bit more like color and splashes and, and movement into it. Right. So, but yeah, I'm I'm loving this. I hope you guys love it too. It still and looks very integrated the way that it's done. I really oh, like yeah, it. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Very pretty. Yeah. All right, guys. This is me. I'm gonna get my edges and take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it. Hello there, ladles and jelly spoons. I loved your flip cup. Thank you. Jeremy, it was really, and, and the paint grenade, it was really pretty. It was really interesting to see the two compositions on the canvas before you tilted them out. Yeah, I loved it. But what I wanna say is when I picked these colors for this pour, in my head I was thinking straight pour. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna straight pour this one out. I've got a 24 in ounce cup. This canvas is 20 by 20. So I won't need all the paint that I'm gonna put in here, but I'm probably gonna get pretty close to the top on this one. And I'm gonna use exactly the same colors. So Jeremy, if I may, I'm just gonna pour it right here for you. So um, we like to put a tiny bit of white, tiny bit of gold. And then I'm going to go in with that deep, dark dioxazine purple. Pretty. Get a nice layer in there. Uh, let's separate that with some of the delicious green. Uh, and then let's go in with the green. Why not? Crazy, like Joker-like colors. It's like Batman in this one. More of the blue-green. I love that artist love color. Tiny bit of gold. Let's go back in with some dioxazine. And some white. Let's put this magenta next to that. Loving it. I'm gonna separate that with a little bit more white. And let's go back in with the crazy green. of that beautiful artist loft color before some more dioxazine. Let's 
do a little gold. A little white. A bit more magenta. Let's finish off with a bit of that delicious green custom concoction. All right, so before I straight pour this delicious cup of loveliness, I'm going to pour into a puddle of gold. It's not something I do often, um, but I wanted to pour into a puddle of gold this time. Shopony, are you ready for me? I am ready. Straight pouring all these colors onto this canvas. So a straight pour is just that, pouring the colors straight out of the cup. I may alternate the height of the pour. If you pour it from higher, the colors will blend more. If you pour it from lower, then you'll get more ribbons. Not confusing this one with a ring pour, which is where you'll move your hand in a ring in order to create kind of tree rings on the canvas. But I'm gonna straight pour. Well, let's do it. Next, I'm gonna wreck it. So I'm going to take Sarah Max chopstick, and by Sarah Max chopstick, I mean a chopstick that Sarah Max gave us. And um, it's a perfect wrecking tool. She is the queen of all things wrecked. And um, she's been wrecking a lot of stuff recently, and I'm living for it, because it's been stunning. But I really wanna incorporate some of these colors. So I'm not gonna put my flow extender down first, because I don't love the color of it, and I don't wanna drag that into my composition. I'm gonna wreck this one dry first. Beautifully done, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Now let's get this flow extender down on the canvas. Now, a flow extender is just that. It is paint that you'll put around a composition to help it flow. Now, this is a mixture of probably 10, 50, maybe even 20 different leftover colors that we've had in the studio from previous pours. So instead of throwing away a cup like this with a tiny bit of something in the bottom, we'll uh, keep them all, we'll consolidate them into a big tub, we'll add maybe a little bit more uh, flow troll, maybe we'll throw a bit of water in there, but this is a ton of leftover paint. So people keep asking us on our social media, what's the point of putting this on if you're just gonna tilt it off? Well, without this, what would happen is the composition that I've just poured out of the cup with all those lovely colors in, would roll over itself and you would lose some of that loveliness. Especially when you do like ring pours, you would lose all of those wonderful rings. And I don't wanna do that. So this flow extender helps me keep the composition intact whilst still allowing it to roll over all the canvas. And so that's why it's called a flow extender. It helps the, uh, the, the paint. The flow of the paint. To extend. All right, peeps. Do you know what time it is? It is tilting time. It is tilting time. It's time to tilt this bad boy out. I'm going to try and keep as much of this side of the composition on the canvas as possible, because I love it all. But we'll see what happens as we tilt. All right, guys, let's do it.
So there you have it, folks. Wow, I love this. Um, th I've got these two almost like fern frogs mm -hmm. sitting on this one. Um, I'm glad that I was able to stretch out this area here. On camera, it looks a little dark and muddy, but it's actually a really pretty mix of the magenta and there's definitely dioxazine purple in there because so, I can see those two colors mixing together. Um, and it's the same colors that are here, it's just here they were wrecked. So um, I think this has got a lot of balance to it even though it's fairly chaotic. I like I liked keeping these green areas and I like the purple areas down here. But yeah, I'm happy, very happy indeed. I'm gonna scrape this one off and then let me take you guys in for a close up. Wonderful. Wonderbar. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. <laughs> so, Jeremy, what did you think? I loved it. I thought it was so pretty. I loved the whole oh. outcome of it. Um, I wasn't quite sure of the colors at first. Right. But they did work. Yeah. They work beautifully. Yeah. Yeah, I I was, you know, listen, when, I'm, when I pick colors, I try to pick two colors and then I'll go lights and darks, yeah. maybe throw in a pearl of one of the colors, mm -hmm. and then I'll put something in as a contrast. And there was some contrast there for sure. There was. But I thought it looked really beautiful in your paw. Thank I you. I think as you tilted it, you couldn't really separate the flip cup from the paint grenade. Yeah. But you certainly could when they were static on the canvas. Yes. I think they stretched the same way. Yeah. Which was really interesting. Um, yeah, I loved it. And I loved my wrecked paw. Nice. My wrecked straight. Yeah, what did you think? I loved it. I thought it was really pretty. I really liked it a lot. I know you didn't really want me to wreck it. No, I didn't. I got I got really nervous you about did. the wreck. You yeah. did. You thought I was going to make it all muddy. But I really, really liked it. There's some like frongs on there. It's like almost like palm tree frongs yeah. in the in the straight port. Yeah, yes. I really enjoyed this one. I don't know what it is. Now I can't stop wrecking things. It took me a year <laughs> and a half to build up the courage to pick up a chopstick. Now I can't put that blooming thing down. Um, yeah, I want to wreck everything. But no, I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Nice. So thank you for being here with us on this Friday pour. In this little train that we've got going on today, we will have Brian from Brian's Upper Valley Artistry and yeah. Nate. Oh yeah, Nate. Yeah, he's gonna be pouring too. And then Kathleen from Cos Creations will absolutely be throwing up an episode. Yes. Um, and, um, and yeah, so we've got some more fun episodes coming up for you this Friday night. We'll see you back here again on Sunday. Yes. Yeah? All right, guys, well, that's it. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, do whatever you can. That would be very much appreciated. We've got some fun, fun pours coming up. Yes. I've just laid down three and a half liters of phalo blue <laughs> onto one or maybe more canvases. Hmm. Uh -huh. We will let you into that secret in a few days time. All right, peeps, you have a great evening. Have a good weekend, and we'll see you back here very soon.
Bye, guys. Bye. And now to spank the Patreons. Spank the Patreons? Yeah. Who are the Patreons? Yeah, well, let me tell you. <laughs> the Patreons are a really special group of people um, that have joined us on our Patreon account. Now, that is a very special account to our YouTube channel. Yeah. And over there, people can opt into certain tiers or certain levels. One level will give you sneak peeks and behind the scenes footage, lots of little secrets about what's going on in Massiar Studio. At another level, you'll get access and invited to a WhatsApp group where the show pony and I <laughs> chat, we share pictures, and then we set a weekly painting challenge. Yes. At a different level, you also get access to an exclusive once a month live stream that isn't aired on the YouTube channel. And at the Platinum level, you also get access to a once a month tutorial where we do like a real deep dive into a, a technique or yes. something that the guys, the Platinum Patreons, really want to know about. Now to spanking those people. At our Gold level, we have Trisha West, Terry Leshner, Tammy Hasbrook, Stephanie Hancock, Sharon Luffy, Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrelli, we have Nate Bright and Misty Tyson. We have Mama Doulas, Linda Serien. We've got Kelly Stowell, Janice Swansea. We've got Jane Klein. We've got Gloria Salaki, Gillian Kennedy, Donna Panis, Donna Patterson, and Amy Gardner, AKA, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Ah, oh, that's a lot of spanking. It is a lot of spanking. Well, the spanking continues okay. with the platinum level. Right. Who is Susan Shepherson, Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Elaine Burton, Dana Foxley, and at the diamond level... And you all know her lover. <laughs> Sparkles. Sparkles. <laughs> Yay, I've got a sore hand from all that spanking. <laughs> so to you guys and everyone else down below at the bronze and silver level, thank you so very much for wanting to be with us, for the extra support, and uh, for wanting to take a little bit of extra interest in Massey Art Studios. Absolutely. Thank you guys. <laughs>